Hey everyone, so here's a question from lines and angle and the question here is in the adjoining figure if x is to y is to z is 2 is to 3 is to 4 find the value of z. How to solve this? They have given angles in the ratio 2 is to 3 is to 4. Whenever angles are given in the ratio we'll consider a variable and we'll write the angles as 2a, 3a and 4a where a is a variable. You can take any other variable. Now why this? Why we're taking a variable and writing it? Because ratios are always given in the lowest form. For example, suppose the actual number is 15 upon 30. I can cancel them. It will become 3 upon, okay, this is 15 ones are and 15 twos are 30. The lowest form is 1 upon 2. So in the ratios, we write number 1 is to 2. But the original number was 15 upon 30. So the ratios are always given in the lowest form. So there is always a common factor by which we cancel them. It could be one or it could be any other factor. If the number cannot be reduced further, this means the common factor will be one in that case. For example, three upon four, we cannot reduce a number. The ratio will become three is to four. Yes, then in that case, the common factor will be one. We can cancel this in one table, right? The number will remain same. So. To we don't know which with what number we're reducing it. That is why we're taking a variable like a or any other number, any other variable. So let me take the uh, angles here. So let the angles be 2a, 3a, and 4a. Now look at the figure carefully. We don't have to do anything with P since we have to find the value of Z. We're going to focus only on these three angles. If you see here, this is a straight line. This is a straight line on which X, Y and Z are lying. And we know that angle uh, or the sum of angle lying on a straight line is 180 degree. So if I add this X, Y, Z, it will be 180 degree. So here. I have taken 2a, 3 and 4a, right? So here x will be 2a and y will be 3a and the z will be 4a. So if I add them up, it will be 180 degree. So since sum of all angles lying on straight line is 180 degree. So using this property we can say x plus y plus z will be equal to 180 degree. So in place of x write down 2a. So 2a plus 3a plus 4a is equal to 180 degree. Add all the variables. So 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, so we'll get 9a is equal to 180 degree. We want only a value, so transpose 9 to the other side. So a will be equal to 180 degree upon 9. Cancel this, so 9 ones are, and then 9 twos are 8, 9 twos are 18, and then 0. So therefore, we got a is equal to 20 degree. So if a value is 20, they ask me to find out only the z value. So therefore, the z or you can pronounce it as z whichever is applicable for you so z is equal to or z is equal to 4a in place of a will substitute 20 so this is equal to 4 into 20 degree which will be equal to 80 degree that's it so this was the answer i hope it's clear how we have done in case you have other questions or doubts you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching